Welcome back to the channel. Today's video dives into a project that's operating so far ahead of the rest of the blockchain industry that most networks won't even come close to this level of technology for years. We're going to break down something absolutely mind-bending, technology that is already running today while the rest of crypto is still arguing about basics like throughput, block times, and layer 2 speed comparisons. What you're about to hear will probably change the way you think about blockchain capability altogether. So buckle in, because this one is going to be wild. This video is for informational and educational purposes only. It is not financial advice. Always do your own research and consult a professional before making any investment decisions. Let's start with something that almost no one in mainstream crypto seems to understand yet. While everyone on Twitter is busy debating which Layer 2 solution inches ahead in transactions per second, Dominic Williams just showcased something that feels straight out of the future. AI-powered facial recognition running entirely on-chain using the Internet Computer Blockchain. That means no external servers, no cloud hosting, no reliance on Amazon, Google, or any centralized API. The computation, the storage, the logic, everything executes directly on the blockchain itself. This isn't a demo where the blockchain handles a tiny fragment while the heavy lifting happens somewhere else. This is fully native, end-to-end -end AI functionality baked directly into the protocol layer. To put that into perspective, most blockchains struggle to operate a basic website without tapping into centralized providers like AWS or traditional cloud solutions. Meanwhile, ICP is demonstrating artificial intelligence running on smart contracts. The difference in capability is so massive that comparing ICP to most blockchains almost doesn't make sense anymore. It's like comparing a calculator to a supercomputer. This is why many people underestimate ICP. They simply don't realize the technological gap exists. What we're seeing is a multi-year leap forward. Most projects in the market won't be able to replicate this functionality for another four to five years, and even then, they'll be patching it together with layer twos and external services instead of running it natively. But let's shift into something traders will be paying attention to, the chart. ICP has been forming an extremely clear and structurally sound falling wedge pattern, which most technical analysts recognize as one of the stronger bullish reversal formations. The price has been moving neatly between a downward sloping resistance line and a steadily declining support level. What's striking is the precision of each touch point. Sellers keep attempting to push the price downward, but every move lower is showing weaker momentum, shorter candles, and decreasing volume. The compression near the bottom of the wedge is a textbook sign of seller fatigue. Volume drying up on downward moves is exactly what you want to see when the wedge is approaching its final stages. Markets don't stay in a tightened range like this forever. Eventually, the pressure releases. And the structure right now heavily favors an upward move once that release happens. At this moment, ICP is pressing against the upper boundary of the wedge. If the price manages to close a clean four-hour candle above that line, that would likely indicate a shift in short-term trend and a potential kickoff of a relief rally. First target? the 9-period EMA. After that, the 50-period simple moving average becomes the next logical checkpoint. As long as the breakout hasn't confirmed, the wedge remains valid, but everything we're seeing suggests an upside resolution is far more probable. Given the severity of the recent correction, the setup suggests that a recovery rally could begin as early as next week. And if momentum aligns with broader market conditions, double-digit prices next month are absolutely within reach. Now let's zoom out and talk about actual adoption and real-world use cases, because this is the part of the story that gets almost no attention despite being far more important than short-term price movement. Since the start of 2024, the Definity Foundation has been collaborating with a private Swiss bank to overhaul the entire customer onboarding process. Things like identity verification, KYC checks, and anti-money laundering requirements. These are processes that traditional banks spend massive amounts of time and money maintaining. With ICP's cryptographic infrastructure, they've managed to create a system where customer information, 
signatures, and verification data can be validated more securely and significantly faster than with legacy architecture. This isn't a hypothetical future maybe if scenario. This is something already being used in real financial environments involving real customers and actual capital. No PR fluff, no meaningless MOU announcements, no fake partnerships designed to pump a token for two days. This is genuine enterprise level integration. A lot of crypto influencers love throwing around buzzwords like ISO 2022 to make things sound revolutionary. Banks are indeed spending billions upgrading to this new global messaging standard. But here's the twist. ICP doesn't need to transition to that standard because its architecture already operates on a level far more advanced. What ISO 2022 brings to banks, ICP surpassed years ago. While major institutions are just now modernizing their communication pipelines, ICP's architecture is already generations ahead. It's the equivalent of celebrating dial-up internet speeds when someone else already installed fiber optic lines a decade earlier. Around the world, financial institutions are cautiously experimenting with tokenization, digital currencies, and stablecoin technologies. Regulatory bodies are warming up, pilot projects are increasing, and traditional finance is finally acknowledging that blockchain rails are unavoidable. But while most chains are busy figuring out how to tokenize assets or move fiat-backed coins around, ICP is focusing on something dramatically more advanced, autonomous applications software that can evolve and improve on its own without human intervention. This is the kind of technology that can scale Web3 to billions of users without requiring anyone to manage servers or handle backend updates. Regular users won't even know they're interacting with a blockchain. They'll just notice that their apps are faster, more private, and more secure. And behind that seamless experience, a decentralized network storing and protecting their data without exposing it to corporate surveillance or database hacks. No more intrusive ads based on your personal information, no more centralized servers tracking everything you do, and no more massive data breaches caused by outdated infrastructure. Just pure, autonomous, privacy-driven technology. Let's talk numbers for a moment. ICP's 24-hour trading volume recently crossed $162 million, indicating serious liquidity and heightened interest. Combine that with a network that's been handling unprecedented demand lately, and you can see why people are starting to pay attention again. As soon as Bitcoin breaks into its next upward cycle, and as soon as altcoin sentiment returns, projects with tangible, real-world utility are going to rise fastest. That historically always happens. Want more confirmation that this project is legit? Even ChatGPT itself has stated that ICP has contributed more to Web3 infrastructure than the NEAR protocol, specifically because ICP operates fully on-chain, not partially on-chain, like so many others that depend on external servers for most of their functionality. And just to show how insane the technology has become, someone recently used Caffeine AI on ICP to automatically generate a functioning 3D LEGO-style builder application. Not in days, not in hours, in minutes. The interface, the logic, the deployment, Caffeine did all of it automatically, and the entire app runs natively on the blockchain. Sure, it's a small toy project, but the implications are huge. Generating complete applications on the fly, hosted fully on-chain, is unlike anything we've seen before. We're entering a phase where we're not just building apps, we're spawning entire digital ecosystems that exist independently, safely, and permanently. Think about virtual economies, decentralized games, social networks, and interactive platforms, all operating without any centralized servers whatsoever. That's the world ICP is building, and most people still have no idea what that means in practical terms. Now let's step back and examine the broader market. Over the past year, nearly all altcoins have collapsed in valuation when measured against Bitcoin. The market has undergone a brutal cleansing. But this isn't a bad thing. It's a sign of maturity. Investors have finally realized that hype alone isn't enough. Influencer marketing, shiny buzzwords, celebrity endorsements, none of that creates lasting value. Most crypto narratives have turned out to be empty promises, ideas with no execution, or technology that appears impressive until you examine it closely. And when the dust settles, 
only projects offering real solutions survive. ICP is one of the very few that stand out in this environment. It isn't just talking about the future, it's actively building it, deploying it, and proving that it works at scale. You don't need to imagine what ICP could become someday. You can already see what it's capable of today. The infrastructure is live, the technology is functional, and the adoption curve is accelerating. What it needs now is broader awareness. And if you're still watching this video at this point, it's clear you're someone who wants to understand crypto beyond surface level hype. The internet computer continues to do what almost no other blockchain can even attempt. It runs AI natively on chain. It supports enterprise grade financial systems. It pushes technological boundaries far beyond industry standards. It builds apps that can evolve autonomously and its market structure suggests a potential reversal after a long correction cycle. While the rest of the crypto world is stuck chasing short-term narratives, ICP is quietly shaping the next era of decentralized computing. If the broader market wakes up to what this technology really represents, the next phase of growth could be massive. So, what do you think about ICP's current position? Are you bullish on its growth in AI and DeFi? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you found value in this deep dive, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more breakdowns like this. Thanks for watching. Stay curious, stay cautious, and I'll catch you in the next one.